Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. I have been telling you and showing you all about my trucker's favorite corn. Some people are starting to call it the Mike and McGee corn, but it's actually a trucker's favorite corn. We like it so much. We've, we've showed you planting it in the fields. We've showed you cultivating it, keeping the squirrels out of it, and still some are confused thinking that it's sweet corn. It's not sweet corn, and today I'm gonna show you how we use it. Today we're gonna grind some corn and make cornbread. I want you to watch this, and I want you to make some cornbread like this for yourself. This is gonna be great. There. All right, let's get this thing cranked up. Let's get her going. <laughs> Just a little bit. My old brother Frank here always helps us pick corn every year. We get out there and pick corn and we pick it by hand. We've got videos out doing it. And old Frank's right there in the middle of it getting her done. Learn to shoot, son. <laughs> I did learn to shoot, son. Look at me. Yeah, I did. What is that on your face right there? It's like a bird, ain't it? Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness, a bird. That's a bad bird. What is a bad bird? That's a bad one. Oh, don't eat it, son. All right, so here's our first gallon that we've got here. It is a little bit on the coarse side. So what we're going to do is we're going to grind it back through and we can tighten it up. Here's how you tighten it up. All you got to do, turn this thing clockwise, tighten it right up. I've got another one right here I'm just going to throw in here. And we will just put the cornmeal right on in there, grind it through again. Right there is what we're getting. And that looks really good. We can sift out the, the holes and we'll be in good shape. This is actual speed. This is not being fed up. This is the actual speed of this grinder. The second time you run it through, it goes much faster. Folks, this is not a paid commercial by Country Living Meals. They, they're not paying me to do this. I, I'm just telling you this so you can see how, how we're getting along, how wonderful it is. We can make our own cornbread, our own bread, biscuits, whatnot. But hey, if some of you country living folk are watching, hit me up. We might strike a deal. I'm sure if they're watching, they're chuckling right now because they can't even keep up with the orders that they're getting. us two gallons of cornmeal from that corn. Let's go to the house and start making cornbread. All right, we're in the kitchen. We're gonna sift out some of this. Now these sifters are made with a screen. You turn it like that, it just forces it right through. And then all that coarse stuff don't go through. Now for this recipe, we're gonna use two cups of this cornmeal. So let's get busy with this. Now the rest, this two course goes in here and that'll be fed to the chickens. Perfect. Okay, here's our cornmeal that we just sifted. For this recipe, we want two level full cups of cornmeal. All right, in this little bowl, we got baking powder, salt, and sugar. We'll be putting the recipe in the descriptions if you'd like to try this and of course we've got our eggs looks like we got four 
We'll quickly get these in here. You can't beat good fresh farm eggs. All right, we gotta have two cups of flour. And I'm using the flour that we made in the last video with the wheat that we harvested from our own field. It's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna sift that out right quick and then we'll put that in. Now we're gonna put our two cups of flour in. Okay, you wanna preheat your skillet. You wanna do this in a black cast iron skillet and you want to have it hot. Now I'm going to put some bacon grease in this skillet and it's gonna be about that much. When you put your batter in that skillet, you want it to start frying right away because that's what gives you that infamous crust that is just to die for. So now we're gonna start uh, finish mixing our batter now that we got that on. The other thing is you need grease in your batter. So I'm gonna take this, this is a half a cup of bacon grease. Bacon grease is the essential oil of the homesteader. We're gonna just pour that right in and then we're gonna beat that in with them eggs. We're gonna beat that in with the eggs and then we're gonna mix in our buttermilk. Buttermilk is also a really good thing to have in cornmeal, not just in buttermilk biscuits. And we're putting in three cups, three cups of this buttermilk. And once we get that all stirred in with our liquid ingredients, we are going to mix in our dry ingredients, which as you see, already is in the bowl. There's three cups of buttermilk from our own cow. Our cow gives buttermilk. There's a lot, not a lot of cows that give buttermilk. Now we're just gonna fold that in with this dry ingredients right here. You don't wanna overly beat it. If you beat it too hard, you're gonna have tough cornbread. You want it to be a very fluffy and crispy cornbread. Buttermilk is what gives you that fluffy, fluffy consistency in your bread. All right, we got it on 375. We got to get it on up to 425. And it takes some serious wood burning to make that happen. So we have got to bust some wood. And so we're busting this wood in small enough pieces to where it'll burn extra hot. Because if it's big pieces, it burns slower. So to get a hot fire, you need smaller pieces. It burns it, burns it up faster, but that's how you get that tremendous burst of heat. They're better at it than I am. All right, boys, we got it on 425. Let's get her in. Oh, listen to that. That's what you want. Perfect heat. Now, once you get it in, you just sort of evenly disperse it across your pan. You don't want it too thick on one side and too thin on the other because you want it to all get done at the same time. All right, let's stick it in here. All right, we're gonna leave it in there for 20 minutes and we're gonna see what we pull out. All right, let's check this baby out. Oh, honey. what I'm talking about when I'm talking about cornbread. That thing sets in there loose. You can tell it's gonna come right out when we go to turn it over, if we turn it over. And uh, it's not stuck to the pan. And that's one good thing about using all that grease. Now, as you know, I have not produced a lot of cooking videos. I have mostly stuck with the field work, the meat preparation, fishing and stuff like that. A lot of corn and pigs. I mean, I do a lot of homesteading stuff. If you like the cooking aspect of it, I've got some friends that I follow that you really need to follow. Boots and Bonnets with Chris and Christy is a channel that will show you some good southern fried cooking. And I'm going to leave their link in the description of this video. Go check them out. This 
this fella, Chris, was a friend of mine when I was seven years old. I mean, we go back, and they are Texans. I'm, I'm originally a Texan, now I live in Tennessee, but as they say, once a Texan, always a Texan. I still have roots in Texas, and when I watch their videos, it takes me back to some really good times in my past. So go check them out, because they have an awesome channel that will show you how to cook some amazing, amazing food. Oh man, that's going to be crunchy and delicious. Man, that's got that crunchy bottom on it. I'm going to cut this up, let it cool for just a minute. And then we're going to try this out for you guys. What do you think, Caleb? You think it's going to be good? That's my favorite, that crunchiness. It ain't really burnt. It looks kind of dark, but it ain't burnt at all. It's just crunchy and good. Right, Matt, you want to try first? You go ahead and grab you a piece. All right, boys, grab you a piece. Everybody get one. Don't burn your tongue. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Talk about good with pinto beans. Mmm. A little ham in there. Maybe a ham bone. You cannot believe that something this good could be grown in the dirt like that. We go out there and we pick this corn. We know what we're getting into when we pick this corn because we do this year after year. Somebody, you know, coming down the road and seeing somebody out there picking corn, they don't realize how good a cornbread is coming from that. Mm -mm -mm. Trucker's favorite. Open pollinated, non-GMO, good as it gets right here, folks. So, if you have a spot that you can put out some corn, put you out some corn and order you a corn grinder. You'll be in the chips before you know what's going on. So, we appreciate you watching this video. My mouth's watering so bad I can't talk, so I'm going to get off of here and, well, I'm going to dig in the rest of that. So you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.